Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. So here's the oncoming force, Johnny Walker, certainly a guy who can take this torch in Brazil and run with it. He has become a massive star over there, and all indications are he's just getting started. The whiskey drinkers love the name, but they fall in love with the fighter. Johnny Walker is a fantastic competitor, a guy that can knock you out and finish you in no time. He goes at his opponent with this recklessness, and he goes in a way that shows no respect to whoever he is fighting, and it shows in the way and in the time that he spent since he's made his UFC debut. And he is every bit 6'6", and one oh, of the few guys so that can actually match John Jones' length in this light heavyweight division. Size matters. Johnny Walker has size and then some. We'll see how it goes for him here tonight. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, champ. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. You want it to be that charismatic. You want it to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven-foot Kareem at Jabbar to stay undefeated. Right. If you could do that, you could do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, Bruce Lee, in a nutshell. Just so wise. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Three years apart, with big differences in height and reach. We set it inside Ladies the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. It Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, six losses. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Phuket, Thailand, Johnny Walker. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Scotiabank Arena here in Toronto. We, the North, we're all about these Raptors now, I know. I mean, yes, when they won the championship, I love the Raptors. Let's move forward. Let's get to some good fights in Canada and stop winning basketball games. It's not supposed to be this way. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Lands with the right hand. Just missing on the high kick there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Look at the turnover in that kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Big body kick. 
Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big head kick. Real nice body to land. Midway through round one. Beautiful kick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus miss in his opponent. He is all about that left kick to the body. And both guys really throwing with authority. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big punch land. Ooh. Take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. He comes forward with a flying knee that just missed hitting the target flush. Nice head kick. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land from anywhere. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Nice uppercut. He's got it going tonight. Beautiful combination of strikes there by Lee. Ten seconds to go. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Come on, buddy. Keep your hands up. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Oh! Nice defense there. Huge block. Big leg kick land. So he lands another strike here to his opponent's liver. The defense has got to do something at this point in time. He was buckled with a similar shot earlier in the fight. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Able to check the high kick. Head kick. Right hand on point. Oh, man, that's a nice kick right there. He's doing a great job of landing that kick over and over again. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. And you see the evolution of the fighter in front of us. He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Oh, 
high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. His opponent still standing. I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. It might not be over now, but it's gonna be over very soon. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Slits the guard, lands the right hand. Well, Johnny Walker looking fluid and powerful here early. Well, Johnny Walker looking pretty fluid and powerful here early, DC. And I guess here's hoping that if he does win tonight, he doesn't injure himself celebrating after the fact. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick. Right hand punches the clinch. That was a thudding leg kick. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Lee. Well, you know the book on this guy, very cerebral and tactical on the feet, and there is that inside leg kick. Just a quick switch of the hips, and boom, inside leg kick lands. Yeah, he's got to. He's got to start checking kicks. Oh, single collar tie here. And they separate. Big powerful punch land. Now we get back to range. Back and forth we go here! Oh, man, head kick lands. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may float a right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strike. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Big punch lands through the middle. Single collar tie now. Oh, shades of Ben Saunders against Brandon Wolf back in the day. A lot of knees, a lot of volume here. I'm not sure how many more he can take. My boy John Anik is a cycle. Yeah, but he'll go back to that. It landed so perfectly. He set it up great. He did a great job of mixing up the target early, going up high, and getting the desired result. starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Beautiful punch. Oh, 
telegraph that spinning back fist. Nice leg kick. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, nice, nice right here. Jeez Louise. Whiffs on that offering. My goodness. Oh. Ooh, looking to go to the leg kick here, just out of range. Already closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it, lighten up his opponent left and right. Nice punch, Lance. Oh, collar tie. Ooh, head kick land, he's hurt. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Kick to the body by Lee. Oh, lands another punch there. Not a mean guy, he's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut, make him pay for it. Straight right is there. Oh, Johnny Walker with another early land. This is a guy who fights like he is double parked outside, one of the bigger power threats in this light heavyweight division. And prevailing wisdom is that eventually Walker is going to find himself into a UFC championship scenario. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Nice loop of punch. Looks like his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. All right, there's the end of the round. We'll show you some of the highlights. It must feel pretty damn good to knock a man down like that. It feels good to knock a man down. And most times, you don't even feel it. It's the ones that you don't even recognize that landed hard are the ones that usually put your opponent out. It landed right on the sweet spot, and he hurt his opponent very badly. Fifth and final round. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fighter here tonight. Well, he's the taller fighter and able to land a knee to the... Oh, thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and trying to stay upright. But man, that changed the complexion of this fight. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Oh! Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, it doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Back to the feet now. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us. Whoa! He's hurt. Serve him up. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, big left. And he's back up. That big leg kick land. Oh! Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Thunderous leg kick rounds his opponent and tried to stay upright, but man, that changed the complexion.
complexion of this one. John, he's hurt. He's hurt really badly by that one big leg kick. Under two minutes to go on the fight. Real quick leg kick. All right, well, time is the enemy now, DC, and he's really running out of it if he's gonna get his hand raised tonight. He's gotta go forward. He's gotta be throw everything at him. Oh! oh! He's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's gotta press him. He's gotta go chase that finish down now. Beautiful strike. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left hook there. Nice sneaky head kick. I mean, look at the commitment to kick. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! He's out! He's done! He's done! I'm not sure if that's the way he drew it up, but a huge result for him here tonight as he gets the win by way of knockout. And that's about as good a one-strike finish as we've seen here in the UFC in recent memory. I'm not even sure the opponent saw it coming. So a big, big win for him here tonight. All right, DC, no Telestrator tonight, but we're gonna get you some highlights from this one. This was a fight that had it all, and for my money, his best performance to date. His best performance to date in the biggest moment. In the biggest moment, you gotta show up. And that's exactly what he did tonight. He used every bit of his skill to get the job done. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of round number five. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon.